Hi everybody, welcome to Citizen Survival Plan. In today's video, we are going to try to answer the age-old question. How far can I or you transmit with a GMRS radio? Now for today's video, just keep in mind, everything that I talk about with GMRS radio also applies to 70 centimeter ham radio. So there really is no difference. It's UHF radio. They both operate pretty much with inside that 70 centimeter band on the UHF, the ultra high frequency band. So let's get into it. There are three ways of transmitting on GMRS that drastically affect your range. One is handheld to handheld communications. Second is using a GMRS base station versus handheld radio because base stations have more power to get your signal further. The third is utilizing GMRS repeaters to boost your signal even further. First, let's just talk about handhelds. So handhelds, either ham or GMRS, well with GMRS they're 5 watts and they're, they're maxed out at 5 watts. And ham radios you can get them up to 10, maybe 12 watts. So if two people have a handheld radio, you will typically see these will transmit 3 to 5 miles maximum. If you're in the woods, you're going to see 1 or 2 miles because of all the trees. It's going to block the signal. Now with everything radio there is always an exception to everything that i say and if you have a handheld that is 5 or 10 watts and you are standing on top of a mountain overlooking a very very large area if you can see it you can transmit there so something even 80 miles away on the top of a mountain and you can see that far you will most likely hit anything you can see typically because of the curve of the earth and the way our planet is shaped you're gonna see 35 miles of range even if you're on top of a mountain with a handheld let's move on to your base station so if you had like a 20 or 50 watt base station and you had let's say a 30 foot pole like i do off the top of your house you will probably see 10 to 15 miles of range. Now, my example is going to be a little bit different because I'm in a valley and I can only transmit within that valley because my antenna is not higher than the mountains surrounding my town. You may see a further range than that, but typically you're going to see 10 to 15 miles, even with 50 watts of power. Also keep in mind, this is just a very quick side note, the longer your cable run is up to your antenna, the more loss you're going to take. So if you had a 50 watt radio, you're probably only going to get 30 or 35 watts to the antenna. If you have a 20 watt radio and you're running it through 30 feet of coax cable up to an antenna, you will probably only see 8 to 10 watts of actual power at the antenna. This is just another side note about range from me. This is my opinion. But you use power in a radio to push through your immediate area. Like if an area is really dense and you have a lot of things in your way and you're in a town, that is where power comes into play. Now that we've talked about range using GMRS handhelds and base stations, let's talk about how you use GMRS repeaters to boost your signal. But first, what is a radio repeater? Repeaters are exclusive to GMRS radio and ham radio. They simply are a radio operating on two different frequencies, typically higher in elevation than you are, and your radio will transmit to it on one frequency. The repeater will take that in, and it will spit it out over a larger area, therefore exponentially increasing the range of your radio. People want to know the actual range. I will say in the absolute best case scenario with GMRS or ham UHF radio, you will see yourself transmit up to 140-ish miles. 
your handheld if it's transmitting to a very very good powerful and tall repeater up in a mountain or something you can go about 50 miles to the repeater let me explain that <laughs> because people are like how did you go from five or six miles to 50 miles well because the repeater's in the air your signal is not running into and getting absorbed by anything in the way it is going straight up hitting that repeater and then that repeater can broadcast it out so you went 50 miles to the repeater from a handheld with a decent antenna on it now that repeater if it's really good and this is like again this is best case scenario that i'm talking about here this is absolute perfect conditions that repeater could have up to a 90 maybe even a 100 mile range on it so if you went 50 and you hit the repeater and the repeater goes another 90 and you have somebody sitting on the outside edge of the transmitting radius of that repeater i mean you can get 130 140 miles from handheld to handheld with a repeater in the center of that transmission now keep in mind it's the repeater really doing the work not so much your radio at that point let's talk about typical range on a gmrs repeater i would say it's anywhere between 20 and 30 miles of range now one thing you need to account for is when you're on mygmrs.com or looking at repeater coverage on repeater book or wherever you are that is listing where that repeater can cover i regularly will transmit to repeaters that are 15 or even 20 miles outside of the coverage map or where the repeater owner says that that repeater will cover i'm using a base station radio with an antenna 30 feet in the air i think a lot of times the repeater maps are showing what you can hit with a handheld and that's where it's kind of complicated because you can put the map up describing the coverage but your setup can make a lot of difference thanks for watching i hope you got something out of this video and we'll see you in the next one